So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you a full guide on the Fox quest line. This rewards you a few sorcery spells, a unique a Fox barrier which is one of the only uh, methods in the game that I know of that can block the Elden Beast's magical text. You also get an Academy Glintstone staff and a few other things. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. So Fops is an NPC who offers you a small quest line which you can start right after you take out Godric the Grafted. Yes I know you can skip this fight and still probably do this, but for the point of 99% of people wanting to fight and take down Godric, it's after this we will start. So from the grace point of the lake facing cliffs, the next grace point you will come across after defeating Godric the Grafted and progressing, follow the path I take on screen now to the Church of Erif. Here you will find Fops and here you need to speak to him and clear out all that dialogue he has and give him those 10 runes. Now I know this may differ for some people depending on what stage of the game you are at. I'm doing this right now upon basically doing everything else in the game including the last boss. Now upon clearing out all the dialogue he offers, you should have the option to purchase three spells from him. You may as well purchase them guys, especially the little light which is amazing when you're in those caves. Although you don't have to purchase them from him, it's up to you. But within his uh, menu, you will see another dialogue option under talk. Click that and clear it out. He should then have more dialogue appear, uh, one about Selen and the other one about the Glintstone Key. From here guys, you want to clear out the one about the Glintstone Key. I mean, you can clear out the one and talk about Selen if you want to, but the Glintstone Key dialogue is important for this quest. So do that guys and clear it out. And from here, like I said, you may have already progressed past getting uh, access to the Rare Lucari Academy, which is completely fine because we have to go inside the Rare Lucari Academy to grab the Glintstone Key to give to Fops. So, for the people who have zero Glintstone Keys, the first one is located just west of the Rare Lucaria Academy, right next to a dragon, which you'll see me going to on screen now. So follow where I've pinpointed on the mini map, use any grace around this area, it doesn't really matter. When you get close to the dragon, make sure you crouch, walk and go a little bit stealthy. I mean the dragon won't notice you if you go behind it and grab the glintstone key. This guys will then give you access to the Rhea Lucaria Academy, which is normally locked off by a seal. This first key breaks that seal. So head to where I go now guys, to the Rhea Lucaria Academy and break that seal.
then from here guys, follow the path I take on screen now to grab the second glintstone key. This is the one we will need to take back to Fops. On your way to this key, you will have to defeat a boss called the Red Wolf of Radagon. So do that guys and progress on to where I go to get the second key, making sure you activate all graces on your way because we have to come back here to the schoolhouse classroom grace later on. Okay, so once you have the second key, head back to Fops. Now 
Now upon you talking to him and giving him this key, he will reward you with their erudition gesture. This gesture is used elsewhere which we'll get to later. So clearing out all his dialogue guys, until the point is repeating the same old same old. Now if you head to the nearest grey skies and head back here, Fops will have moved locations, he's moved to within the Rea Lucaria Academy which we need to go back to. But just to the right of where he was sitting, there should be a silver beetle here, rolling around the Asher War Dung. Smash this guys and you should get the Fops barrier. I mean, I did this already before even talking to Fops. This Ash of War was here for me, but I have read online it only appears after he disappears. I ain't sure. Either way, it was back for me here, guys. I smashed it and I got nothing. Weird. But hey, moving on. Okay, so from here, we need to head back to that schoolhouse classroom, Grace. Within the Ray Lucaria Academy, you should have activated earlier. Once you are here guys, come back on yourself and you will then find a perished fop sitting within a chair. Now the rewards here are his bell bearing which you can take to the twin maiden husks within the round table. Nothing else is in the offer from this bell bearing besides those same three spells. You also get the fop's barrier which is a pretty special spell and you also get the academy glintstone staff. So the barrier is, as far as I'm aware, one of the only items in the game you can use to block the Elden Beast's magic attacks. So keep that in mind upon you eventually getting to the Elden Beast final boss. It may help you out. Okay, so on to that gesture. The Erudition. This is used at a spot called the Converted Tower seen on the map right here. If you go here guys, go inside the tower, stand in front of this statue and use this gesture, a ladder will appear behind the statue for you to make your way to the very top which rewards you a memory stone from a chest. What I will say is the gesture really isn't needed because you can still get up here with your horse as you'll see me do on screen in a second but hey I have to add in all those details. And there we have it guys the Fops questline and a well I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more out on Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.